Hi there, friends and family. It's Miss Jade from the San Diego Children's Discovery Museum of Escondido. And for today's nature talk, we are going to explore the world of insects and bugs and their animal adaptations. You may have noticed that some insects and bugs are beautiful, like butterflies. Some are really helpful, like bumblebees. And some are really annoying, like mosquitoes. So let's dive in and learn the differences between insects and bugs and all of their animal adaptations. I'm looking for some of the many insects and bugs we have in our garden at the San Diego Children's Discovery Museum. Can you help me spot them in my scavenger hunt? What do you see? I think I see a dragonfly. This dragonfly has adapted to blend in with the leaves on this tree. I also spot a monarch butterfly. Monarchs love hanging out in our garden. When you come to visit the Children's Museum in Escondido, you will see lots of monarchs in our garden. What else do you see? Do you see some ants climbing up a tree? Ants are workers and they have adapted to carry food up to 50 times their body weight, even up trees. They use their antennae to follow the scent of their colony. Did you know every ant colony has its own scent? I also see a grasshopper and a praying mantis. The praying mantis is a master of disguise. Can you see him? There are so many insects in our garden. Are there any more that you can spot? Let's take a closer look at a couple of our garden insects, like the praying mantis and the grasshopper. They're both insects with different animal adaptations. They both have compound eyes, two antennae, four wings, and six legs. The grasshopper has adapted special legs for jumping extremely far. The praying mantis has a special adaptations in its front legs. The praying mantis has quick reflexes and sneaks up on its prey. They chew their food with mouths called mandibles. We just learned a lot about insect adaptations, but what is a bug? This is a picture of a bug called a pale red bug. It's a true bug because it's flat and oval and it doesn't chew its food with mandibles like a grasshopper. Instead, it eats its food with a straw-like mouth called a proboscis. This adaptation in true bugs is useful for drinking plant juices like nectar from a flower. So now you know the differences between a bug and an insect. See if you can find a true bug next time you're outside. That was so much fun learning about bugs and insects today. The next time you're outside and you see your favorite bug or insect, I'd love to know. You can take a picture or just tell us about it on our Facebook and Instagram. And if you would like to do more activities like our nature talk today, you can visit us at our website at online.sdcdm.org. Until then, I will see you later.